Hello, hello, and welcome to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. I am also one of the trainers with Notary Educators, which includes myself, Kimmy Nunnally, Angela Johnson, and Alexis Franklin. We each own our own very successful notary businesses and teach notaries in all 50 states to be great and grow their own business. We will discuss general notary work, apostilles, ink fingerprinting, and the duties of a notary signing agent, and much, much more. For all of your notary needs, please visit notaryeducatorsllc.com. We hope you enjoy the show, and we wish you much success. Hello, hello, and welcome to Notary Life with Kimmy. I am here with Jeffrey, and Angela's running a little late. Alexis, we know, is in her class. What is going on? We're going to give YouTube a few minutes to notify people. Jeffrey, you want to introduce yourself? Hello, everybody. Good to see you this evening, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Welcome to our channel this afternoon or even this evening. Yes, welcome to the Notary Mentor. Mondays. We still don't know what's going on with this title because we were doing something different. We were on Zoom. I want to say hey to those on um, that will join us on the replay. Hello to those who will listen to the podcast and those who are coming into the to, well, it's not the room, but those who are joining us now live. What's going on, people? How is it going? Who's there? Who's there? Tonight's topic is going to be interesting. We are talking about why is everybody hating on the notary business? I mean, I've just been hearing some stuff and my boil just be boiling. Hey, Donna. I can't see Facebook until um, Angela gets on because Jeffrey doesn't have Facebook. Yeah, my boy, my blood is just percolating. I'm like, what is all the negativity? Everybody just chill out. <laughs> How y'all doing? Who else we got here? Hey, Lauren, Annie, what's going on, people? Yeah, so I said we're going to talk about it today. I have been trying not to say anything um, because I don't want to be like I'm tit for tat with other people that I'm watching or I hear stuff out there. But I was like, you know what? We're going to just always keep it very professional. Hey, Miss Like a Bee, what's going on? You're going to always keep it professional. So we're not, you know, name dropping or dogging anyone out. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. But um, I did have to weigh in because, again, I know your lives are actually affected by what you hear from us here on YouTube, what you hear other people say. It does affect you. It, it affects your um, morale. It affects your, your business, your bottom line. <clears throat> so we need to always look at things from a total viewpoint, total perspective, not just what one person is saying. Hey, Regina, Kimmy, Vet, what's up, what's up? So we're just going to talk it out this evening. Um, again, why is everyone hating on the notary business? And everyone, sometimes, you know, people say, don't say everybody, don't say everyone. <laughs> Ms. Le uh, like a B says, it's Lakia B, L-O-L. -L. Oh, Lika, Lika? Oh, Lika B. Oh, okay. But Miss Lika B is cute too. Okay, Miss Lika B. Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, Roberta. What's up? What's up? Mr. Perez, long time no see. God's country in Colorado. Beautiful out that way. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, so let's talk about a few things that I had written down. Um, we'll just go by one by one. So some of the things that people are saying. Hey, Cielly, what's going on? Some things are one of the reasons why people are, you know, kind of hating on the notary business right now is they're saying that people aren't buying homes and um, <clears throat> they're saying people aren't buying homes and the rates are just too high. We don't build businesses based on the rates. OK, do you think Chick-fil-A opening their businesses or not because of interest rates? No, things are still popping. People are still buying. People are still selling. Okay. People are still doing refinances. They're still doing loan modifications. The housing market doesn't just shut down completely. Okay. Mm -hmm. It just does not. Jeffrey, yeah. you want to add something to that? Yeah. I, was, I didn't mean to cut you off, uh, uh, cut over you. I was just going to say just before we um, 
got on uh, probably about an hour and a good hour ago. I uh, got a call from a signing company asking for me to do a loan mod. Uh, I wasn't able to do it, and uh, they asked if Kim was able to do it, but our schedule, we have something else going on on the date that they need it. So things are still uh, happening out there. Uh, not saying that it in certain locations it might be slower than others, depending on the circumstance. So uh, just wanted to let you know that it, with anything, uh, the market will go up and down, and, and that's just the nature of the business. But as uh, Kimmy mentions or talks about in many of her videos, if you are uh, diverse in what you do or what you um, that you things that you're able to offer as far as a notary, then you'll be able to, as they say, pivot. Uh, I hear that word a lot. When I hear the word pivot, I hear people mean pivoting. They're doing something completely different. But the point is that you have different options. You have other other things to do in opposed to just doing, let's say, general notary work. Yes. So I have Lauren in the comments here. Hi to everyone. Lauren is saying, yes, people are always buying and selling. She's actually a real estate professional and she sees it every day. So they are. Now, are they doing it like they were three years ago? No. But the thing about it is, I don't want you to take one piece of information. Well, they're not buying, they're not selling like they were. And have that negatively impact your thought process or your business. The reality is, yes, things are a little bit slower. However, things are still moving, okay? And I don't want you shutting you down your whole business or like, you know what, there's no room for me at the table. As Jeffrey just said, they called and I was standing there. They wanted him at first. I don't know why they call him first. Uh oh, what kind of stuff is that? <laughs> we are signing to some of the same signing companies. I did. They call him first, and then they ask him about me. So um, I love to keep it in the family, I guess. So. Oh, um, first. Yeah, I just thought about that. Why did they call you first? But I don't want you all to get discouraged, and you know what I mean. I just don't. It's just too many, too many opportunities out there. And I talked to a young lady earlier today. She's doing a one-on-one -on -one with me because the class dates just did not work. But she's a work notary, as we like to say. She They just put papers in front of her. She just stamped them. She doesn't know why. She didn't know that she could make money up at doing this. So sometimes, um, this is a bonus. Sometimes it's not that the market is slow, but we don't know how to even advertise or get in the, into the business properly. So after her one-on-one, -on -one, she will know how to properly notarize documents. She will know how to market, how to price her business and make it a business for her. She says she does a few notarizations on the side, but she's never charged anybody. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no, we got to change that. So our next point that we wanted to talk about, though, um, is kind of going through the same, um, the same line when people are saying that there's just no business, when you sign up with signing companies, that's just one, yes, to Lauren's point, loan signings are just one line of business. And that's where I was going with my next thought that I have written here. When you sign up with signing companies, it's not just refis. It's not just loan modification products. Sometimes signing companies send off car um, packages now where they have you go to car dealerships and get documents notarized. They may send off a one page, just a one off from a general notary job, I-9 job. So loan signing companies um, are not just, or signing companies rather, are not just sending out signing company assignments. They're sending out all kinds of things. And if you're not signed up, you're leaving money on the table. You just are. And even in our own personal business, um, our notary business, because we're not just YouTubers or we're not just notary educators. We're also none better mobile notary. We've extended our hours every day. Now we're open till nine. So we saw the need to make an adjustment there. You know, so you have to be able to adjust. And I'm, I've been very transparent with you all. I, I mentioned that how long we've been open longer about a, uh, a month. Mm, close to a month. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And one of our uh, jobs when we first made the adjustment on the website, because we made the change. Um, Mainly, in, well, in one of the reasons because of the time change, uh, it was lighter or darker earlier. And we just didn't want to be out there, you know, at seven, six o'clock and it's dark and what have you. So normally we've done that the last 
few years uh, since we've been doing our business. So we took the opportunity to make the changes. We were kind of looking down the road uh, and then how to drum up business from the notary space, but from our our notary business per se. And the client that I had was around the corner for me and uh, he made a uh, reference. I went to his home, it must have around been 6.30 or so. And he was like, hey, I didn't know that you all were gonna, would, would be, would, would do it. And then since I knew that you were open and that you were willing to to do it, uh, he was like, let me just go ahead and get it over with today. So um, uh, it, that worked out great. And so those are those are things that you want to keep in mind. Uh, Anna Marie uh, Lewis made the comment that daylight saving time is coming upon us. So that's right. Uh, by not this Sunday. Is it, wait a minute. When is that supposed to be? I'm looking at the calendar. Yeah, today is the fourth. So yeah. So this Sunday coming up. So life changes. Uh, you know when uh, when that light. It's I mean it's lighter now, but. I, I, for me, <laughs> when it's darker earlier, it's more the more depressing time of the year because it's dark and it's dark at almost 430 or so. But anywho, uh, by taking advantage of that, folks, then you're able to uh, build up your business and, and you never know uh, what might happen. More people as it gets lighter, as it's, as it's lighter in the evening, they might be more prone to do certain things. Uh, that they would have waited for later or for the next day or later in the week. So just have those those things in mind to make adjustments in your business. Mm -hmm. Also, um, Psalms 55, we're going to go back and get some more of these comments, says, um, yep, they did a vehicle inspection the other day. Easy money. It was just one stamp. Mm -hmm. So what we try to prepare you for is, and you keep hearing long signings, long signings, long signings, is, if you know how to notarize, it doesn't matter if they call you for a vehicle inspection. Mm -hmm. You know how to notarize that document. And that's how we teach you um, in our class is how to notarize any document. So you don't have to be afraid. All you need to sign up, all you need to do is sign up with signing companies mm -hmm. and also work your business because we don't just work with signing companies. And I did that video um, live here. Actually, we all did a few weeks ago, 19 streams of income or 19 ways notaries make money. So we are very, very much working our business we don't just do youtube we don't just do notary educators we do ink fingerprinting apostilles that's a whole line of business in itself um angela actually set up a, a whole separate website for her apostille business and she's doing very well doing apostilles i keep thinking about it do i want to do that but i just i'm not at that point where i think we're ready to embrace that yet we have so many other projects we're working on and um, we have tried to maximize our um, SEO for our, our business page to get more long um, apostille business. And we just got an alert from our um, Georgia and like they sent out a notary letter monthly. And that notary letter said that the apostille side of their business has gone up. I believe it was 13 or 14 percent. So many thousands are done per year and it's going to be even more. The more people that come here from other countries is the opportunity for us to do more apostilles because they have businesses back home they have property back home so that apostille piece of the business i'm still sleeping on it to be honest um but we are going to probably end up being beast masters over here with angela in that space um probably in the summer or the fall so um put remind me kimmy you said you was gonna do such and such <laughs> hey let's see what's up what's up and then we got June. And then Mr. Oscar said, when interest rates goes down, owners refinance and pull equity down to reinvest. So that's true. Again, documents, property is always shaking and moving. And we don't want you to hear all this negativity that people are saying, well, don't become a notary. Don't become, don't do general notary work. It's not worth it. That's not true. Again, back to general notary work, you may not know how to price your services. You may need to learn how to price your services. If you know how to um, properly notarize, now you might need to price your services correctly. That's a skill. That's mm -hmm. a whole skill, okay? And let's see what else we had on our list. The next thing is, um, again, people just saying business is slow. The last one I want to talk about is um, our YouTube community, which I'm definitely a part of. I have three YouTube channels. So I love YouTube. I, I breathe, eat, sleep it. 
and i i love it i love it for all parts of my business so you guys know i have the notary channel notary life with kimmy i have business life with kimmy where i talk all things business over there um doesn't matter what business you're in i just did a video how to start a t-shirt business um and that's just I'm, I'm passionate about business so everything i want to talk about over there i can't necessarily talk about over here and then i have my weight loss channel healthy life with kimmy and i'm documenting my journey and now jeffrey has joined me over there to um jeffrey's joined me over there i'm reading the comments that's why i'm hesitating to document his journey also so check it out any of those um channels but some of my youtube people are changing careers and that's fine everybody get the right to choose they may not want to be a full-time notary anymore some of them have started doing other businesses other adventures and I, I applaud that and I want that for you too I don't want you just to be a notary if that's not what you want to do but the notary business can be a stepping stone to your other things so sometimes with my YouTube community you have to be careful because we put out thumbnails and things that, that are called clickbait and something will say something to the effect you know you might see a title that says um don't become a notary or in 2024 what to look out for and you know we give you tips like that too but when i put out video clip um thumbnails are what they're called the little pictures it's really just to pique your interest but we never come from a straight up negative point over here i want you to have both sides yes i want to tell you the business is a little slow right now but i also want to tell you that no documents are moving and shaking every day I also want to encourage you, we do as a team, that you need to market more. You need to know your business, okay? So how, what else would you like to add about the notary space when it comes to the YouTubers, Jeffrey? Yeah, uh, I wanted to address there at 613 Tawana uh, Lewis, where she says that she's uh, glad that this issue or topic is being addressed, that although she's not a notary yet, but that is her goal, on the other hand, she saw a video yesterday with this being said and that it really concerned her. So um, here's here's um, I'm, I'm trying to see how the best way to say it. Um, Straight up, no chaser, but don't. Well, no, I, no, I, well, I'm trying. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be uh, diplomatic. Yeah. Well, the the, the thing is this. You know, people sometimes will advise you on things that uh, they won't do or don't want to do or don't want to work harder at. Or they might be trying to take you, uh, tell you not to get into it so that they, so they can make sure that they got stuff out there for them. I don't know. You know, having said that, there is uh, business, enough business to go around. If we, within our business, within the last, over the, since we've had our business, um, if we got $5 every time somebody said, I couldn't find a notary, uh, that could be another stream of income, <laughs> okay? Because we've had many clients that have said, look, I've been trying to find somebody and I can't find it. Because you can look at probably, do a search in your area. Do a search in your area and see how many notaries are near you. Just put in, do a Google notaries near me and uh, 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 and see what you find. On the other hand, as you're working your business, in order to drum up business, uh, another suggestion is to ensure, make sure that you're asking people to give you a, uh, a review. And that way that builds up your, your uh, uh, review number and people will be more inclined to reach out to you because they say, okay, this person's got 20 people, 40, 50 uh, people under their belt. Let me reach out to this person. So keep that in mind. It's one thing that you start the business, but you want them, other people to find you. And then you'll find that you have a lot of repeat business. We we just did, was it something today? Was it today we had repeat? Was yeah, it I had, um, no, that was yesterday. I had a repeat. Oh, okay on sunday i had i had three appointments on saturday because we were closed on saturdays and sundays for the last two years two yeah. years when my mom came i think we stopped mm -hmm. on the weekends when my mm -hmm. mom had moved in with us um uh, when well, i moved in completely with us she was between me and my sister but uh, when she was with us we didn't work on the weekends anymore she didn't want us working evenings because she was terrified 
and um, of going out to the houses and stuff. So we did not, you know, to accommodate her, we didn't do weekends and evenings after five. So, um, but we just now started back. So I had three appointments on Saturday. I even had two yesterday on Sunday. So mm -hmm. there is business if you make yourself available and learn how to price your services. We talked about pricing recently, even with me um, being more um, vocal about charging. So now I charge the last three clients I think I had to to print their document. They had one page that needed to be printed, $5. So I got that bill up. You see what I mean? So just even little mm -hmm. things like that, I'm being more vocal. And they have choices. Actually, when I was doing my job yesterday, it was so funny. I told Jeffrey about this because he wasn't here when she came. And um, when I came back, she needed something printed. I came up here to print it. When I came back downstairs, she was talking to her girlfriend. Her girlfriend was talking about the price. So the, the client says, I hear them talking. She says, well, that's what she told me the price is. So she asked me when I got back, she says, so is it regularly this price or is it just because it's on Sunday? I said, no. I said, it's regularly this price. I said, normally, if you can go to your bank for free, that's what I would always recommend. But when you call me, it's because your bank won't do it. UPS won't do it. They're not open. And um, we have extended hours. We're open seven days a week. We can print. We do whatever you need. So by the time I finished talking, she was so excited. And she was already excited because she was like, she had to get to court today. And she was taking her child to the lake yesterday. So she was excited. She said, again, to Jeffrey's point with the other client, I can't even believe I'm able to get this done today. So she would have paid way more, quite frankly. I didn't charge her enough for it being Sundays. And I usually don't charge more for weekends and holidays. I don't. But I did mention that in that 19 streams is another way to increase that bill. When you do have a client, right? Because we're we're in this to make money, no doubt about it. So what are your thoughts? Let me know. What are you hearing? Put a one in the chat if all the YouTube videos that you're seeing are adding to your anxiety when people are saying, don't do the business. Don't, it's not worth it. Don't train. Don't do this. What are your thoughts? Don't become a notary signing agent. Again, we have to use that, with a, take it with a grain of salt because it's clickbait. It's clickbait. And clickbait means, they just want you to click on the video and watch it. And I'm not mad at them. But again, we're talking people's lives here. Some of you have actually invested thousands of dollars. And now you keep hearing all this negativity. Does it affect you? Put a one if it affects you. And a two if you're unbothered by it. No, let's do a one if you are affected. And put a zero if you're unbothered by the different people you see leaving the business, talking about the business in a negative way. What are your thoughts? One, if you if it does affect you or zero, I don't care. I'm going to still do me. Uh, Mr. Oscar says about one little secret. Investors are still in business making money. They buy it in the way up and on the way down. Yeah, so people are still needing notaries, guys. And they may mm -hmm. tell you, and another common one is uh, attorneys don't need you because they already have a notary. Attorneys won't call you. That's not true. <laughs> Property move in different states or um, wills, power attorneys all day long. Sometimes if we just had one from New York. What was that last week? We went to the nursing home on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The daughter and the son flew in here in Conyers, Georgia to get a document notarized. And the sister, quite frankly, she thought the price was too high. The brother would have paid anything because he realized the value. It was a trust signing. It was a trust signing. And I gave them a deal on it because they only had one power attorney. They didn't have the whole complete trust. So if you need some help with that, check out our specialty general notary course or the specialty general notary book because they go over the same information, how to complete those trust signings. You don't have to have any special certification, as you may be hearing about. Um, if you want to do that with people, you can, but it's not required. If you know how to notarize, you can notarize a piece of tissue. And I got a video on that also. <laughs> we keep it simple and we keep it keep it simple clear and speak the truth over here guys we don't have time to be playing and click baiting you and tell you one thing and it's something different because we all actually work we stand papers just like you okay so um let's see what do we have in the chat ones or zeros because i was trying to go back to the comments mostly zero so you're unbothered by the videos okay one and two and i think that's fair Anne marie it does affect you when you hear all the negativity it really does. So let's go back and get some of these comments. Um, so just be cautious of your information, okay? 
if one person is saying, okay, all this bad stuff, you got to look at it. And then on top of that, they're telling you, don't do this, don't do that, but they're still trying to sell you something. <laughs> so it's like, which one is it? Do I do the business or do I not do the business? What are you trying to sell me? What do you get out of it? You know, ask questions, ask questions. And what do I say, guys? Questions equal money. Questions equal money. Your money. Okay? Make sure you're spending it where you need to. And it doesn't always have to be glittery and shiny. I'm telling you, we keep it simple over here. And some people, we're for, um, most people actually do enjoy our training. We keep it very simple. It's uncomplicated. You're not going to have 500 modules. We don't have 2,000 videos for you to watch. You're going to get what you need so you can succeed and go make your money. And that's, it's just that it really is um, just that simple. Okay. Um, One other thing I, I wanted to, if I could, uh, Kim, I didn't want to jump in on, on top of you. Oh, yeah. Go ahead while I check the comment. Uh, um, I had, had Anne-Marie Lewis there at 615. Uh, as a kind of a twofold thing that uh, she said that she sat on 2020 with this year's mindset and not going to sit out again. And will definitely be coming for some notary training uh, courses from you. So those are some things to look forward to. So we look forward to seeing you, Miss Anne Marie. And uh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, today's the day to start. Uh, it's a it's a process uh, as far as getting into the business, uh, but it can be done. Uh, the like I said, check around in your area. You may even call and go and, and and just do you know within a 10 mile radius or five mile radius if there's notaries in your area and call them and see if who actually picks up the phone we've had so, what we tried to do uh, oh, so jeffrey okay. i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm I'm just kind of um say uh -oh, something here uh -oh, i don't i don't recommend that yeah i don't recommend that you don't have to call oh, she them don't recommend that. no because they're gonna okay. get upset with you which they don't have time to be playing with you are you open i just want to see I understand what he's saying, and you okay, want to see what right. doing your business. Yeah, don't don't call people, y'all. Because somebody called me, right, I just well, want to see if you open. It's not gonna be pretty. All right, well, don't call them, folks. Don't 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 take take that back. Okay, take that. Take back. that back. Right. Take it back. Oh no. Take but it you'll back. You'll find out. You'll find out once you have it. Once you start having clients, they'll let you know uh, how many people um, uh, they've called. Uh, they'll say you actually picked up the phone. Uh, a lot of times we, and the reason why I say uh, that a lot of notaries are not actually working, they, they may be there in Google. Uh, we've tried to do, uh, maybe we, we needed something done um, in another area and we took the, and we tried to call a couple of notaries that we thought we could find and they were nowhere, nowhere to be found. Or we called another notary and said, hey, can you do a job? And they say, no, but let me try. I got some other notaries that I've worked with. And then they call back and say, no, they can't do it either. So it's just like, oh my goodness, nobody's picking up the phone and nobody's in business. So to Kimmy's point, I, I agree with her. You don't, you don't have to call people. Uh, you'll find out as they come to you. Um, yeah, you'll but, find out. Don't yeah. don't call people. I don't I don't suggest calling other notaries, asking them their prices. They don't have time to play with you. This is your business. You just learn, need to learn how to price. So I know people say competitive marketing and all that and checking out. Don't do that, please. So you will learn. You will learn, and and we'll teach you how. You'll look around you. Just come up with your own pricing method. Um, for those of you who may not know, I'm just going to take a few seconds and go over a couple things. Um, we do have the Start Your Notary Business book. If you're unsure, if you have a business, don't know what to do next. If you have your commission, just don't know what to do next. That's what this book is for. Um, it's available for all 50 states. Everybody has their own book. So feel free to check that out. I do have a training class coming up next Sunday, I believe it is, from 11 to 1. I do have um, three spaces left for that class. Notarize Like a Pro, where we actually go over how to notarize any document. We actually go over pricing in that class, um, marketing in that class. So please check it out. There is a self-paced version, so you can feel free to see which one works best for you. And then Angela has a class, I believe, on the 20. Fourth, whatever the following Saturday is. And then uh, Alexis is not doing a class this month for loan signing, but you can do a one-on-one -on -one with her. Okay. 
and she does have the self-paced class. All the self-paced courses are on sale, 60% off, coupon code is 2024, okay? So let's get back to some of the comments here. So Ms. Kimmy Yvette says, the things is that people don't know how to diversify themselves. They just use used to doing one thing and going home. And that's true. They, you have to learn how to do other things. Like I have the I-9 course, the ink fingerprinting course. Angela has the apostille training. You have to know how to do more than one thing in this business. If you're sitting around just waiting on loan signings, to come in, it is true. You will starve. That's not, that's one stream, one avenue. Okay. And for those, the reverses too, is true. Also, if you are a notary and you're not doing loan signings because you're afraid mm -hmm. and you're not, you're cutting off a whole stream of income. You're doing just general notary work. And that's okay if that's all you want to do. But I'm just saying, if you really want to have a fully maximized business, I'm going to recommend you do general notary work and long signing and apostilles and, 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 okay. Let's see. Tawana says, good evening. I'm so glad you're addressing this. What, okay. what time are you at? What time are you at? What time are you at? We are moving down to, I'm just skipping through actually. Oh, okay. Well, I want to mention here at 615, uh, June Harris. Uh, she made a point, I think, to your you had mentioned it earlier about pricing. So she says she's going to do better at pricing. And Anne Marie Lewis says, um, awesome on health and wellness, Kimmy and Jeff. Thanks so Thanks. much. Yeah, we're trying. Yeah. And Johnny P mentioned that he, uh, that he just retired from his nine to five and ready to market Johnny myself a, as a notary. Lady. Johnny is a lady. Uh, Johnny P. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, I see. I see. I'm sorry. Uh, John P. So yeah, that's good that you're making that adjustment. Uh, welcome to this new phase of your life. As far as you leaving a nine to five, I, I know what that feels like. Uh, I took that leap uh, last year um, after a series of events in life. So uh, here we are. And so, yeah, so look forward to you making those changes. Lauren Jones at 618. Uh, made the point, say it doesn't have to be all or nothing. You can always do other things in addition to notary work, which is true. So that way you want to be diversified. Is that what you said earlier? Diversified, I believe. Did you say that, Kim? Yeah, somebody Kim? else said that yeah. too. And don't forget, Anne Marie mm -hmm. talked about the abundance mindset too. Yes. So we want to have that mindset. And then uh, WAPF Health mm -hmm. Coach uh, made the comment there that uh, when they needed a notary, they called a bunch of them, but they only had one, which is the goes to the point that I was making earlier, and that they didn't care about how about the cost, only how quickly they would come. And so that's what happened with us uh, a couple of Sundays ago. Uh, we made the we you know the, we picked up the phone number one, and we made ourselves available. And uh, the I think the sister or or the daughter, whoever Kim was talking about it initially. Uh, say that they didn't want to pay or that it was too too much. They would, excuse me, once we got there, I mean, she was nice. And then once they see the professionalism that we're not there camping out because we're at a nursing home, they're with their parents, you know, with their mom. Or in this case, it could be mom or dad who or their loved one. Oh, you mean Being the one the didn't want to pay? The one that the brother said she was upset? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I was saying, mm -hmm. yeah, she was nice. And But the point is, is that people, once they get, they see you, you get there, we were dressed uh, appropriately. You're not coming in there just looking any kind of way. Uh, and we were there, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes at the most. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe 20, I don't think 20, but 15 at the most. And yeah, we, we were in and out. Uh, I'm sorry, what you say now? I said we chit-chatted too much. Oh, it's oh my goodness. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we were in and out of there. And um, we they she, they could tell that we're professional mm -hmm. and they then they appreciate what they're paying for mm -hmm. so and you never know how that goes down, somewhere down the road they'll make another phone call uh they may need something else or they can rec recommend someone else even though they might be out of state they could recommend someone else in the area you never know how where your name might go and pro mm -hmm. tip pro tip from that one nursing home job where i didn't even know that nursing home existed yeah we, we got that call right. mm -hmm. I left about 50 cars at the front desk and I left some at the lady in the back because she saw us leaving the, the nurse assistant at the desk. I left her a stack of about 25. I left them. So they had like a desk when you first enter. I left our cards there 
And at the back of the desk, I said, hey, we just finished a, um, a, a signing a, a document for Mr. Smith. And we're notaries in case someone ever need one. I said, do you mind if I leave a few cards with you? And she was like, oh, sure, no problem. Because now you, you're you in there. They mm-hmm. see you. You're dressed up. That client called you that, that they're... Um, the client of the nursing home, like, you know, her, her kids called us. So now the lady at the front desk that worked for the nursing home, she's like, oh, so they must be legit. You know what I'm saying? So now mm-hmm. you got some credibility. So that, again, that was not only did we make money on the job, but we also marketed on the job. We left business cards on the job. Mm-hmm. So make sure you don't just order a hundred pack. You need to leave your cards everywhere because you just never know who's going to call you. And welcome to everyone that's joining us now. If you missed the main conversation, go back and watch it from the beginning. It was very interesting. Uh, right now, we're just answering some questions, okay? Uh, um, health coach says, as we need a notary, called a bunch, only one answered. Didn't care about the call. You just handled that one. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, the one after that oh, one. June, June, is June, back. June mm-hmm. says, I know. I'm so glad Lexi advised me to put open Sundays, even though I'm officially closed. Close. I got someone needing a nursing home notary. Go Lexi. And Lexi is our other trainer. For those of you who have um, maybe knew, she hasn't been here the last few weeks because she's actually diversifying. She's taking some training for um, a program she wanted to get into. So thank you, Le- Alexis, for that, helping Ms. June. So yes, okay? So you have to be able to diversify. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, uh, uh. Johnny P. Johnny P. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want to get that? Yeah, it says uh, Johnny P. Six twenty two says becoming an NSA makes me hesitant because I live in an in an attorney state. Okay, so uh, Kim, you want to handle that since we live in an attorney state here in Georgia and we are able to handle uh, jobs. But you want to address that, Kim? Yeah, and as everyone knows, we are here in the state of Georgia, and we definitely work in an attor- in an attorney state. It's just a few little different caveats, but you can make money in an attorney state. And we're living proof of that. Me, Alexis, Jeffrey, Angela, we all live right here in the great state of Georgia. And we're pretty strict here. <laughs> but we're still eating, y'all. Uh, thank you for the confirmation. You're welcome, Anne-Marie. Jermaine, Jermaine, what's up? Jermaine says, great job. Awesome advice, Kimmy. I recently increased my prices in January. Yes. And the more and more confident you feel, too, in your services and knowing what you're doing, Yes, you're going to increase your prices. That's why this year I'm not playing mm-hmm. around. If you're going to pay it, you're going to pay it. If you're not, I'm glad. Bye. <laughs> I had a lady yesterday, matter of fact, um, her brother. Now, this one was kind of tugging at my heart. Her brother was disabled. In order for me to travel to her, I increased our travel fee. We don't leave our house now under 50. We just don't. Okay. That's our price right here in Georgia. We used to do it under 40 was our limit. We wouldn't leave the house. So this year I said, no, we're going to different price range, different whatever. And he's disabled. So she was like, oh, 50. I said, well, we do offer two levels of service. They could travel to us and come to find out that that was a nice option. I didn't know what she was going to say when I offered he could travel to us because she said he was disabled. But he did travel here. He sat out in his car. I said, he doesn't have to get out the car. So he didn't have to get out the car. I walked to the car with the journal. I walked to the car with the paper. She actually had us print the paper. And the document and everything. So I went to the car and did everything. So, you know, that's another stream right there. I was thinking about putting disabled um, on the website some kind of way. And that's not the first time we did it from the car. We've completed several notarizations because we have a hill where we live at. It's a very small one in the driveway, a little steep. So some people can't walk in. We're like, you know what? We'll just come up to the curb. You know, no worries. As long as we get that document notarized, they don't care if you on a flying saucer. Okay, they just need their document notarized. All right, <clears throat> you want to get the next one, Jeff? I need to clear my throat. Yeah, so we have um, a Jermaine uh, six twenty three Jermaine H. Just great job and awesome advice, Kimmy. I recently increased my price in January, so that's good. So that you can, you if you know your value, and as you as we mentioned before about feeling confident about yourself and what you're doing when you feel that and you know that you're bringing something good to the table and you can within reason within your area depending upon your location then you can make those adjustments in your prices uh psalms 55 says just stumbling blocks for the new notaries yeah when you you know uh you know like we mentioned before uh be mindful of what you're listening to 
And here's the thing, if, you know, they may say that they, they may be different individuals might be uh, saying for you not to do it, but they might still be notaries too. <laughs> so you're like, oh, okay. So you take that, you know, where, you know, you had to take that up to a point. Uh, on the and other that was hand, my other point. They're saying, well, mm -hmm. I had eight signings today. I had 10 signings today. And they're telling but you, don't you be signings, a notary. but don't you be a notary. It's, it's not for you. It's only for me. I'm sitting there like, you. how does that sound? How, right. how does that even sound? Now, you sit here bragging about what you're doing. Oh, yeah, I got eight five line up tomorrow. But yet there's no work. That makes zero sense to me. So that's why, you know, we talk about stuff for our channels as YouTubers, and I'm calling us out. I'm one of them. But I want to be crystal clear that, yeah, let's talk about the negative, but let's also talk about how it can actually happen for the people. Let's let's help them to overcome whatever obstacles are out there. So uh, to Jeff's point, it's like, and I see that too. It's like, I got nine signings today. Okay, but there's no work. You just said there's no work. Mm-hmm. That puts a bee up in my bonnet and my head just be like flying. I'm going to come through the screen like, what? Okay, next. Yeah, she's having a fit over there. I can see that now. Yeah, so, let me let me, let so, me pull back. Let, let me, me pull let back. Me calm, it, it tried to calm down. So, uh, but yeah, folks, just take the, you know, take that, you know, those, uh, yeah. be mindful of what, what you're hearing. And if you're new to the business, then like I mentioned to you before, make sure to start to drum up your business. When you finish with a client, right there with them there, hey, could you do me a favor? Can you, uh, you know, if you you could feel if it's if if the job has gone well, you finish the job. And sometimes we'll we'll joke that we have done, we're, we're finished within five six minutes, and that's us getting out the car. We go into a person's home, they come out to the car because we have it set up. We have a if you've seen any of, of Kimmy's videos. Uh, we have it set up. We have a nice little uh, office set up or we can make it into an office set up in the back of our SUVs. We do it right then and there uh, and we're finished. And, you know, we we, we feel so I should say feel guilty, but we joke and say, hey, that was a pretty quick, you know, quick amount of money that we just made. And we're only there for five minutes, uh, if that. However, uh, if you watch, if you know that you've done a decent job, and everything is well done well then before you leave and if you got your website already set up hey you ask the client can you do me a favor and give me a you know give me a, would you be able to give me a, a five star what do you think you get five star and just hey put it to them just tell them like straight up and they'll say yeah now, if you hear my you, you got your phone on you like, can we go to the website my website and just put it in there clicking right there and, you know uh sometimes yeah. you'll ask the person they'll say They'll say they'll do it, and then sometimes they don't. So if you do it, we've done that right there, and they'll put that right. You know, they'll go ahead and do the rate, and and that, and that builds up, and then you'll start to see because when you know you see only two ratings, you kind of like, oh, okay. But if you see five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and it's a you know four point nine five stars, okay, you, you know you, that person's going, you're you're going to start getting more business. So. It may seem a little slow at, at first, depending on your, where you're living at. But if you every time you get that client and you make it, you make that impression, you will see that change uh, because there's more people that are not and actively a notary than the people that are. That's for say, sure. Say it, say it again for the people in the back. What you say? I I said that there are more people that are are not that are not active notaries. That are in a, in comparison to people that are. Yeah, and that's why. I don't look at your Google page mm -hmm. and say, "Oh, it's twenty five notaries near me. I don't need to start mm -hmm. my business." There ain't no. Space you go down the list. They people do not. They don't pick up their phone. Uh, they just got a web page, and like I said, we could have another stream of income uh, if we had five dollars for the number of times people said I was trying to find a note because we asked them. When they get when we when we catch up with them, how'd you you know how'd you find us? You know, oh they say oh from Google. Oh okay, and I was trying to find a notary. I've been look, trying to look for one for you know. So by the time they get you, you know, and some of them they they have said uh, when we pick up the phone, they'll say oh you picked up your phone, you know. So if they got you, 
uh, they'll pretty much, if they've been trying two or three times and they got to get that document signed, they're going to pay what you're asking for. Now, I'm not saying you're going to take them to, you know, take them to the cleaners, but, you know, if you're being fair with them, uh, they're going to pay that. And like Kim, Kimmy mentioned, I, like I mentioned to Kimmy, not everybody's going to be your client. You don't have to, you know, you know somebody says that's too much. We, we What we do if they say, you know, we just had someone call the other day because I'm in the car, Kim's, I'm driving. And I can hear the person, Kim says, will it be X number of dollars for us to come to you um, or you to come to us or whatever? And they said, well, how, why, why is it so much? And she said, without a breath, you don't have to try to explain it and say, well, sir, so say what you could do, Mr. You know, client, if you like, you want to try your bank and, you know, and then let them and, let, and move on. And, and they'll, you know, uh, and if they want to be bothered with you, they want to do business, they're going to do business. If not, it's okay. Because some folks you don't want to be bothered with anyway, you know, <laughs> to be truth be told. So just keep that in mind. So Jermaine A says, I get calls from attorneys all the time. And Marie says, I've been watching your courses here and on the podcast and decided to become a part of the live chat. Well, welcome. And don't forget, guys, we do have a podcast now. And we thank you for listening and watching. OK, we really do value, value you being a part of the community. June, June says, said yes, she, I did she the toilet, toilet paper. paper. <laughs> With you, great training. Thank you, Joan. Lauren says, the thing that irritates me is when people say you go to the bank for free. My thought is go to the bank is customer's choice. Oh, true that now. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Lauren says, excuse me, banks don't notarize everything. I was a notary in the bank. And they do not. This even got no. worse since COVID. They realize we don't have to take on all that responsibility. So it's very few things you can get done at the bank. But sometimes I let them go bang their head and, you know, try to do the bank, UPS, and they always call back. So Oh, it happens. They'll call back. We, we've noticed they'll, they'll <laughs> you know, uh, and it happened. They'll call back, you know, maybe later that day. And then now they're ready. To, we, you know, we're ready to go. So uh, Anne-Marie says, and I uh, certainly appreciate the way you simplify your teachings. Yeah, we try to make things simple. We don't want to make it complicated, which is you see that in Kimmy's videos all the time. It's not that Lewis. complicated. No, it's not that complicated. So she says, I think I think people have to take value in the cost for what works best for them. Which and that's true. true. That's what we say all the time. So just because we're on here saying, oh, the business is working for us, doesn't mean it's going to be for you. Notary business may not be for you. The notary business mm-hmm. just might not be your cup of tea. And I have a video about that, too. If you don't like dogs, going in people's homes, traveling, printing, talking to people. Some people just don't like talking to people. If you don't like any of that, the notary business just might not be for you. And that's okay Mm -hmm. to pivot, to change. But I don't want it to be, I'm not going to do the business because I saw another YouTuber who's making their money tell me that there's no space for me. You're too Mm -hmm. late. There's nothing for you. I, I can't stand that in regular life. If it's if I'm excelling at it, there that means it's room for you to do so also. It's not just I'm a miracle, I'm a one-off, I'm a, a unicorn. No, if I can make it, that means you can make it. Okay. Oh, we're preaching now. And we talking about um earlier I mentioned some of the additional streams of income. Don't forget, um, wedding officiant is a whole nother ball game. So, so many different things that you can be doing. So, Amory says, Kimmy, you spoke to me about that vlog about being scared to start. Thank you for that. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> yeah, Amory, yeah. she saw she saw a podcast episode. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much for watching that or listening to that, rather. Oh, for those uh, of you who do not know, too, the podcast that you may see popping up sometimes on the channel are previous shows. They're not live. So because some people say, Well, I can't see you all. No, those are previous shows that you probably missed because YouTube doesn't show everything to everybody. So now we're able to upload the podcast for those who prefer to listen. And again, you're catching up sometimes on an old show, but the information is just as relevant and it's really been very successful. We're so happy that people have access to the podcast now. Um, yeah, Anne Marie says no calling for price checks, let them call you. <laughs> uh, JB Swift says, First time catching a live. Welcome, I had my first time Friday. Friday. Yes, congratulations. I was nervous, but I didn't let the client see me sweat. Yes, and that's what you got to do. I'm already excited about the Sunday training. 
Yes, we will see you on Sunday. Thank mm -hmm. you for signing up. Um, I got three spaces left for those of you who want to join us on Sunday. Try to keep it kind of small. Health coach says, don't shortchange yourself to win a big deal. Realtors are ruining the business doing that. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Linda says, what are your thoughts on using Yelp to promote your business? Did you have any negative or challenging interactions experiences? So, yeah, I don't prefer Yelp. My preferred go-to is Google My Business because Yelp did nothing for us. We even tried to pay for ads for a moment. It just was terrible, y'all, mm -hmm. for us. For us, now other people are doing mm -hmm. excellent with that, but it, it did not serve us well at all. And then they keep calling you and keep calling you after you do try to cancel. If they oh ever goodness. let you, yeah. mm -hmm. if they let you cancel, welcome to everybody who's joining us. Oh, don't forget to hit the like button, please, 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 please. We appreciate it. Only time I'm gonna beg y'all for anything is hit the like button. <clears throat> um, got a lot of congratulations, Anne Marie. Anne Marie. Uh huh. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. I'm, I, I thought you had stopped. I don't know if you had froze. You looked like you had stopped. But I thought you had froze. Uh, so, yeah, JB Swift says, uh, Gabe's congratulations on the first signing. Uh, Anne Marie Lewis is asking, is Permit Runner a part of the notary pivot income? Mm hmm. Yes, it is. So, I offer the service, Anne Marie. I've not completed one yet. If I ever do, I'll take you guys with me, like I do on um, all the other videos that I have. But what a permit runner is, yes, that is definitely part of the pivot. Um, basically, you'll go down to the county where you live at and pull the permits for the client. It could be they're having a swimming pool built um, and the construction workers just don't have time. So, they outsource that. You can be done. Uh, it can be completed live or sometimes online, depending on where you live at. And um, so, yeah, definitely add that to your business. Health coach says, I'm a realtor, sell eggs, sourdough, health coach, DoorDash. Can I get it? Amen. That's, uh -oh. <coughs> that's what yeah, I'm talking Yeah, so yeah. About. Yeah, Excuse so me. keep that going. Whatever, <laughs> you, you know, keep bringing that money coming in. And as you see the need, that you can feel that need for people out there, then that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Somebody I don't know who that Facebook. Is. Yeah, Facebook. We can't yeah. Facebook, but they said that they're a notary that has been listed for years to start and look into the business. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Sabrina C. Will says, Thank you. Appreciate the information. Our pleasure. Pleasure. Angel Star says, Hello. Off topic. Everyone talks about the NNA. I just learned about the NNA today. What is the comparison in your opinion? I love to join them, but my finances are laughable. <clears throat> yeah. So I do recommend, I, I used to did not, when we first started, recommend doing the um, NNA for um, the, the annual fee for like $69. But I changed my mind because if you're a new notary and you need help out there, they answer the phone. Um, they're on Central Time, Western Time, Pacific Time, I'm sorry, they're in California. So they do answer the phone and they will help you with basic notary um, questions. $69 a year, I think it's an investment. They're training. I've taken it. Um, if you want to do long signing, I would say the basic package and then let us help you with the long signing because ours is just a little clearer and we do like real life scenarios and most people prefer our way of training quite simply. Mm -hmm. Simply put, they teach more. Uh, and again, I'm not against the NNA training, but um, I just know we teach differently. That's all. I just seen new opportunities. Can we vet for notaries? was going into homes, helping people with online notaries. And the other one is a ballot counter. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so many opportunities. Um, I'm still good and in business. Yeah, Jermaine, I'm glad you're doing well. You've been in business now over a year or two. <clears throat> Can we say you spoke of notary services to your experience with DoorDash, Uber Eats, paying for the convenience? Yep. People will pay for convenience. Let's get these last few because Jeffrey has a seven o'clock and we're going to have to wrap up. Um, and maybe they're not making money out there working their business. True. <laughs> being my body. I don't know I sound old, y'all. Yeah, being the um, <laughs> Google won't let me be great. Why they make people log in and leave a review? Yes, they do. If people are, have not used their um, log in, they do. They do. But don't, that's why you ask everybody. <clears throat> and sometimes... Act like it's not important because if you act like it's important, they won't do it. So this is what I do really quick for the Google review. Hey, when I get time, I'll send you a link for a review if you don't mind. It's like, I don't care if you do it or not, even though I'm begging in my heart. I'm like, can they please fill it out? 
But if you act like it's important sometimes, so just kind of casually mention it. Don't make it feel like it's another job or something else they have to do. I, oh, now I got to go leave her this review. But if you say something like I just said, oh, when I get time, I'll send it. They're like, oh, well, she's busy too. So they understand, you know. Uh, my bank has started referring notary customers to me. Yes, Joan. So that's, that's a good one. Yeah, that's real good. If you're able to get in the door like that, uh, hey, make sure you, you have your business cards and you check on them on a regular basis to see if they need a refill. Just yeah, pop in all, there. Yeah. yeah, all banks won't use you because they say it's a conflict mm -hmm. of interest. But we do get a few from the um, post office, too, sometimes. Jeffrey left some cards down there. So occasionally we'll get a call from the post office. So sometimes those entities are a little bit stricter and they'll say, you know, like I said, it's a conflict. Johnny P says, I'm a wedding officiant, been doing it for two years, just word of mouth. Yep. Get it. Congratulations. Anne Marie says, often on a apartment runner, you are the GOAT. Oh, we appreciate it. We got an amen in Facebook. Lorenzo says, Hey, Miss Kimmy, I was a loan officer, a loan processor for 20 years. I haven't worked in the industry for quite a while. I am in a certified and have my supplies. I want to refresh her. Check us out, notaryeducatorsllc.com mm -hmm. and get in one of our live trainings or either the self-paced and it will get you to where you need to be. Um, hello to everybody. Frederica says, hey, hey, officially stepped out on faith and started my business last week. I'm currently looking for another computer and just ordered my business cards. Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. Congratulations. <clears throat> Inez said, I completed my first signing Friday, took the morning off from work. Yes, get That's it. That's how you do it. Right, you have to, yeah, work around your schedule. If you're full time, that might mean working in the evenings, um, five to nine, working on the weekends mm -hmm. all day. If you can skip out, you work from home, working at lunch. Okay. So, mm -hmm. guys, we do have to head out because Jeffrey has a seven o'clock. But as always, it's our pleasure, Notary Life with Kimmy, Notary Educators Training Team. Jeffrey, you want to say a little outro? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say thanks for having everyone coming this evening and your wonderful comments and uh, keep those uh, comments coming in each week as we do this. And also uh, uh, make sure that it, it take those different points that we talked about, uh, uh, put them into practice, apply them, and uh, you'll see how your business will be able to make, you know, little by little, you'll make those those good uh, 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 upward steps or forward okay. momentum. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Again, it's our no, pleasure, yeah. guys. And don't let everybody think that they hating on the notary business. We showing the notary business some love. We love you, notary. Right. We love you. <laughs> you got that right. You got that All right. All right, y'all. Well, until next time, we'll see you later. Okay. Much success out there. Bye. All right now. Bye now. Thank you again for listening to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. We would love to be a part of your notary journey please visit us at notaryeducatorsllc.com for all of your notary training needs. Also, please feel free to join the Notary Life with Kimmy YouTube channel, where Kimmy has over 400 videos that will help you to grow and build a successful notary business. Until the next episode, we wish you much success on your journey. Bye.